Okay, um, I'd like to talk about hexagonal close packed. Um, it's another crystal structure. It has the same atomic packing factor as face center cubic. So let's take a look. <coughs> so I've drawn a little hexagonal unit cell in here. And <coughs> one of the first things to appreciate is that the, the base here of this hexagon uh, is made up of what we call a, a close packed plane. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to show you that here. <coughs> If I position the atoms on the base there, let me get a good red color. There we go. I like to use the red color for metal atoms. So I'm positioning the atoms there, and then what I'll do is I'll just make it a little fainter for the ones that are hidden. Okay, back there. <clears throat> and there's also one right in the very center. So this is what's known as a close pack plane. And over to the right here, I've actually illustrated um, a close pack plane, and I can show you what I mean by that. If I'm packing circles, as I am here, into two dimensions, I'm just trying to fill this area with circles. This is this sort of staggered arrangement, like this, is the best that I can get. You know, I can't get any better than this filling of the area in two dimensions. With circles are all the same size, I can't cover the entire area with, uh, with circles. So this plane that I've just drawn is known as a close pack plane and you know if I were to oops, sort of sketch in here this, sorry it's a bit crude, but that hexagonal shape that's exactly what the base of this unit cell is. So why don't I go ahead now and draw in a few of the other atoms so that we know where they're positioned. So there's one and these are you'll see in exactly the same positions as the plane um, at the base. Right there they seem to be right on top of each other. Now you might appreciate that if I stacked close pack planes like that on top of each other, and I've got a couple of models here. These are pretty big spheres, but this, this is in fact a close pack plane. You see that? So that's a close pack plane. And if I were to stack another close pack plane, like this one for example, ignore the fact that there's pink on the other side for now, and I stacked it up exactly like this, like we seem to be doing so far in the sketch, you can appreciate probably that's not the closest packing we can get. Now I told you that the title of this crystal structure is, is in fact hexagonal close pack. So we have to be able to get them closer together and it's this little low spot that we want to get into. So if I put them into this little low spot you can see that this plane is not directly over top of that. So in the sketch that we're working on there has to be something else. And I'll show you in fact what it is. There's these atoms here that form and I haven't drawn them in yet, but I will shortly, that nestle into these little low spots uh, in, in the bottom plane, and then the top plane sits right on top of that. And if you look straight on, perhaps you can see that the top plane is directly over top of the bottom. Okay, so this is the top and the bottom of the hexagonal unit cell, and there's those three little atoms, three little atoms right inside the unit cell. And their centers are completely inside the unit cell. So, let's see if we can draw those in. Well, the, where those mid-plane atoms, as we sometimes call them, are, are positioned, are in these little spots between the the other atoms, and sorry, here we go. I'm going to just identify these for you. See these three little atoms here? That's actually part of a close pack plane. That would look something like this. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to position another atom sort of right here in this spot, okay, above it. 
And so that is what I'm going to try to do for you right here. I'm going to put this atom sort of floating up there. Now that's completely inside the unit cell. It's completely inside the unit cell. And it's nestled in, touching, whoops, that line is way too big. Not sure what happened there. There we go. Okay, so it's nestled in, and it's touching these three atoms as I've indicated below. So in fact, those four atoms are touching. It's that's a, a it's called a tetrahedral interstitial site, or a, a tetrahedral. The geometry is tetrahedral. We'll cover that a little bit later in the course. And that exa exact same geometry repeats itself above the plane. So we've got three atoms touching like that and then three atoms touching this atom in the middle. So then there's actually three of those types of atoms. There's another one over here nestled into these three atoms above them. I don't know why the size of that keeps getting so big. Um, nestled in there and then between these three atoms at the back is another. So I could show you these atoms here are touching and this midplane is forming another close packed plane identical to this one over here. It's just only three of them are inside a hexagonal unit cell. So one thing we can do is we could, we could define these positions here. Say we, we said, well, these positions on the bottom, we would call it maybe the A positions. These ones in the middle, we'd have to call it something else, maybe B, um, because they're not directly over top of the atoms on the bottom. But then when we get to the third layer up, you can see that the third layer is directly over top of the bottom layer. So we would call that the A positions again. And for that reason, we sometimes say that HCP is formed from an A, B, A, B, and so on stacking sequence. And it's important to note that's a stacking sequence of close packed planes. Okay, face center cubic, interestingly enough, is formed from so face center cubic, on the other hand, is a so-called ABC, ABC stacking sequence, and that's a little difficult to sketch, but I could show you with these models really quickly here. This is a close packed plane, right, and I've got another close pack planes. There's two close pack planes. And if I position, say, this one on the bottom, and I put this one on top of that, okay, so there I go. I've nestled them together. And then I find one more atom. So there's another. And I position this one right there. It might be a little difficult to see. I'll see if I can tip it for the camera. But if you, if you look carefully, you can see one, two, three, four atoms with one in the center. That's face-centered, okay? You know, if I go over to this side, there's the other face. This is the face of a cube. One, two, three, four atoms with one in the center. So this cube, though, is on this funny angle relative to the close-packed planes. So there's a close-packed plane, but the face of the cube is at a funny angle to it. Okay, and again, this is ABC because the bottom layer you can see it's in these positions here. The second layer in the B positions, if I put this one right there, it's not over top of any of the atoms on the very bottom plane. Okay, so that is a little bit about the stacking sequence and the difference between HCP and FCC. Okay, thanks a lot.